Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries we have part deuce of our Naked and Afraid episode. We had part one, if you haven't watched it, it's this episode here, you should go watch it. During that episode I asked you guys to give that video 7,000 thumbs up. Go ahead and thumbs up this video if you were part of that crew that gave that video a thumbs up. You guys are way overachievers. That video didn't just get 7,000 likes. That video got over 10,000 likes in just two freaking days of it being up. Today I have a whole bunch of new products that we're gonna take out of my bug out bag and review together. Number one. I know this looks like a tennis racket. It isn't. Some of you guys might know what it is. Some of you guys have no idea. It's not for sports. There are items in here that are for our sanity entertainment kind of gadgets because we can't be sad and stuff. We gotta repopulate the world. You know what this is? <laughs> <laughs> I know when we're buying like camping and bug out day stuff and you know like a little stash for your house You never think about bugs. You think about food, water, things to keep you warm But you never think about bugs. On Naked and Afraid those people are tortured by bugs When a dude comes out looking like a big old, <laughs> like a big blister <laughs> That's so gross. Go home, screw the show, screw the $75 check you're about to get for the show. They have like bites from head to toe. That is so gross. That's why when I get on the show, I might bring one of these. This is a zapper, an electric zapper. Is that, is PETA gonna call me in a minute? No, the, this is for bugs, spiders. They might call me for spiders, right? Because. We need, we need all the bugs, but I don't want them on me. So in my bug out camp, <laughs> this is what we're gonna have. For my crew, this is gonna be required items on the supply list for first day of school. I don't see this in a lot of people's bug out bags or houses. I don't know why, maybe it's dangerous. Cause it's gonna zap you. It's not electricity. How does it zap you? It is, it has to be electricity, right? It will kill bugs and spiders. I'm not really worried about spiders too much. I'm more worried or annoyed by flying bugs, mosquitoes, flies, things like that. Oh, I just wanna zap them out of the sky. That's what this is for. Now the dangerous thing with this is that it might hurt. It's, it's gonna hurt, okay? It's a volt. <laughs> of, of something coming at you. So um, be careful with this. Don't let your kids play with it. I did have questions about it though, because I don't see that a lot of people have them. It was a no brainer when I saw it. Why wouldn't people have these in their homes? <laughs> Look at this. One, because they probably have little kids and they don't want their kids to be messing around with it, maybe. Secondly is because, are you just gonna have like, <laughs> Are you just gonna have like fried chicken little mosquitoes everywhere? <laughs> like like you just grilled some fucking bugs all over the floor? Zzz, chicken. Zzz, chicken. <laughs> Smells like chicken. <laughs> Are your neighbors gonna be like, oh, they must be grilling out today? <laughs> Multi-purpose, I just thought about it. If I took this on Naked and Afraid, I'm gonna kill the bugs so I don't look like a big old blister <laughs> when I leave. <laughs> And it's a fucking stove. Put a spider on here. Put a snake, put a lizard, whatever you find. Catch a fish, psst, 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 fried. Genius, you see what I'm saying? And you just need a couple batteries. No fire needs to be made, none of that. How many batteries? We need two double A's, I believe. I know you're probably thinking, well, Vivian, <laughs> I'm thinking these things to myself. That's why I say you're probably thinking it, but I'm thinking to myself, Vivian, how are you gonna test this? You better not put your hands on that. And there are no flies around right now. So, smarty pants, what you gonna do now? Listen, I got solutions to all the problems. I would not be testing a product if I had not thought it through. That's a lie. I don't think anything through, I just buy it. I'm kind of nervous because, is it like one of those fences, electric shock fences? One, two. You don't hear people on the news that got fried up. <laughs> and it's very cheap, plasticky. This is metal, don't touch it. But it has a button here. 
and a little light. So I guess it's off. So let's turn it on. Oh, so it does not stay on. You have to push the button, you see? So like right now, it's not on and I'm not touching it. It's kind of a pain, but it's kind of not. It's a safety feature. That way, if you forget to turn it off, your kids don't. Now in the jungles of Brazil, it's a pain in the ass because the bugs are everywhere and you just wish you could just click it and just swing this around. You know how much protein you'd have? You'd survive that show without losing even a pound. If somebody shows up on an episode of Naked and Afraid with one of these, y'all know where they got the idea. So like I said, I don't have spiders or anything right in front of me right now and that's cruelty to animals if I just find one. I'm gonna find one later, but right now I don't have one for filming. So I thought closest thing to <laughs> a bug is a weenie, a hot dog. It has fleshy material, right? It looks like skin, has the texture of skin, and I can probably get some grill marks on it. <laughs> Tell me that's not a good test. I want to see if I can grill this damn thing on here for Naked and Afraid, and I want to see if I smell grilled hot dogs because that means you're gonna smell grilled mosquitoes <laughs> if we take this on the show or grilled snakes whatever you decide to grill up with this because i wasn't gonna touch it and grill my hands no ma'am it seems a little bit barbaric <laughs> now that i think about it walking around your house swinging this thing <laughs> what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna hold my weenie right there first let's touch it without it being on right now it's off see the light is off i'm not touching the button let's see Nothing's happening, okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. Lights on. Nothing's happening. I didn't read the instructions because I didn't think I needed to. It's pretty damn straightforward. Press and hold the charging button. Touch grid to insect. Insect killed on contact. That's not happening. I mean, this is not a bug, but let me see. Maybe I'm supposed to do you think it's working? Is my bug too big? I'll just do the tip. No, it didn't work. Or it's not gonna work on this. Should I touch it? Is that dumb? Let me see, quick. Let me just double check the batteries because 99% of the time I put in the batteries wrong. The batteries are in right. We're gonna have to take it off the supply list, you guys. Am I gonna have to really go outside and find, find a bug? I'm gonna have to my hot dog down. I wanted to grill some hot dogs. Could you imagine if this was a grill? Let me go check outside with a damn bug. Okay, so all the flying bugs were at lunch. Out of all the days, today's the day that I could not find not one. Can I put a little bit of water on top? Maybe? It's supposed to zap. It's called a zapper. Am I doing it wrong? Is it just supposed to be like an invisible zap? Let's see. Hold the button down, a little bit of this. Yep, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I'm about fainted right there. Do not try that at home, guys, because that's water. I don't think you're supposed to put water on that. Let's see what it does to this again. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's working. Now I'm scared. <laughs> I can't use it. Okay, it's working now. Why? Is it getting juice? Are you supposed to let it sit for a few minutes? Thank God I did not touch this. I think there's a delay. There's like a three second or four second delay, maybe, is what's happening. But let me see. My hot dog is not cooked or burnt. It just gave it a nice little zap in the ass. <laughs> so there's no grill marks. Let me see if it smells. I'm scared, I should take the batteries out. That was no joke. So it kind of works. I'm still gonna keep it for bugs but I don't know if I would cook dinner on it. <laughs> don't do that, that's kind of dumb. But for the bug out bag, I'm gonna say maybe. I can see why they're kind of cheap because it's a one use thing. Multi-purpose, this would have been a damn deal and I would have told everybody to go get it. But if it's just for flies, we can't just have one product for one task. What happens to the bug? That's what I wanted to know. So I'm gonna give the bug zapper to Vivian Heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, 
Give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool doomsday product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.